Hi, I'm Chase Masterson, and we're here with the Ecolux Lounge for the Rock and Roll and Movie Awards. I'm here with Kai Furneaux, who is the winner of the World Tour Stunt Award in 2012 for being the best female stunt performer in the world. Congratulations, that Thank is a you. huge, huge accomplishment. But well, even more impressive, I understand that you have an incredible background, that you brought yourself out of something that very few people can even imagine. Tell us about your injury and what you did in order to recover from that. Well, when I was 19, I broke my back in a car accident and was told I'd never be physically active again. Uh, doctors said I wouldn't be able to play tennis or sports, and that just didn't sound like the life I wanted to live. I was very active, very outdoors, and very independent, and so when they told me that, I decided that just wasn't how I was going to live my life. So I decided to prove everybody wrong, and in the end, ended up winning an award in, in probably the most extreme physical sport that you can get. That's amazing. 19 years old is such a tender age to have such an incredible life change. It's an age where m most kids are out partying, cutting loose, um, just getting crazy. Tell me how you, at 19 years old, found the wherewithal, the strength, to make a choice to save your life instead of to make it even worse. I think it was just a choice. You know, when you're given two roads and one of them you're going down, it just doesn't sound like anything you'd like to do. And then, you know, I. It was just within me, I was always that kind of kid. I, I wasn't actually a big partier, so it didn't seem like I was missing out on anything, but the but thing- you could have. You could have yeah. made the choice to, to hide your pain in alcohol or drugs. You could have made yeah. a choice to disappear into a haze of addiction or uh, drunkenness just mm -hmm. to hide the pain. Yeah, I mean, again, it was my parents, you know, they were so positive and, and we, I was brought up fairly alternative, so we, we didn't really do a lot of painkillers and that, so I got off the painkillers as soon as I could, so I didn't I face say. any of those addictions to the painkillers and then, and I used the pain to regulate my um, activity as well, and I just listened to the good pain, because good pain is when you go for a run and your muscles are sore, but some right. people stop at the good pain, yeah. but if you can push through that and just, oh. you know, notice the bad pain is when you stop, good pain, you keep pushing through and so I just listened to my body, listened to my parents and then just, just believed that there was another life for me out there. That is beautiful, listening to the good pain. And it's funny because there's good pain in life. Mm. Conquering addiction is good pain. It's not always easy, but it's something that's worth it. When mm. you think about the choices that you need to make in order to have your best life, there's good pain that can come with that. There's bad pain that can come with destroying yourself, so. Definitely, it's learning to know the difference between the two and right. stopping one and pushing through the other. Congratulations. Thank what you. an amazing journey you've had. And to, to win the 2012 Taurus Award and yeah. just to, to create your life as successful as you've made it, which could have happened in, in exactly the opposite way and, and ended in total, total darkness. I, I always wonder what my life would have been like if I'd listened to those who put these limitations on me. It would have been, it would have been completely different. So, Thank you so much. Kai Furneaux, winner of the 2012 Taurus Award on making choices that will lead to your recovery.